Hello to everyone. I am Alessandro Cucchi from Italy. It's a pleasure for me to have the possibility to share with you the results obtained with the most innovative technology in the field of the bone augmentation. I mean the customized titanium machines. First of all, I want to thank the whole group of GBR Academy for its support in knowing my job. Now, go deeply in the issue of customized titanium meshes. You know that there are many types of bone defect. Each defect is characterized by specific features that should be analyzed to have the best possible result. A localized vertical mandibular defect can be very different from an extensive horizontal maxillary defect. And each defect can be very different from others. We can simply divide the bone defects in three main groups, single, localized, and extensive defects. But maybe the problem is not the type of defect, but which type of surgical technique to choose to treat that defect. In the last years, we have tried many different techniques and many different approaches in order to understand the most efficient and predictable for bone augmentation. Today, we are focused about titanium meshes in the field of bone augmentation. So let's go. First of all, I want to divide between the conventional meshes manually made by the operator during surgery and the customized meshes digitally made using selective laser melting technology before the surgery. And the advantages of the latter are immediately clear and easy to understand. Plan and unrealized before the surgery, smooth and rounded corner and edges, verified distance from teeth or anatomical structures, and an inner stability on surrounding bone due to high accuracy. So we can really call this a three-dimensional digital bone revolution, and this is the result that we can obtain. We can adopt this kind of technology to treat all types of bone defect. The extension of defect doesn't matter because we can restore and adequate bone volume with a device customized for each defect. As GBR Academy, we have tried them in many different defects, horizontal or vertical ones, in anterior or posterior region, in parts or totally identical patients and both in mandible and maxilla. The procedures start from three-dimensional analysis of the defect and the virtual planning of the mesh above it. The surgery is always characterized by the same steps. First of all, an extended flap design and a full thickness flap elevation to expose the defect and the surrounding bone. Then a buccal flap mobilization by means of a periosteal incision and brushing. The autogenous bone harvest is used to have a grafting biomaterial, 50% of autogenous bone and 50% of bone xenograft. The surgery continues with the mesh proof to verify its accuracy and its placement. Then the mesh is filled with grafting material and is placed above the bone defect. The mesh fixation is carried out using two or more screws and is covered by a native collagen membrane. Finally, a double layer suture to have a primary closure of the augmented size is very recommended. Following step by step the surgical protocol, it is possible to achieve the outcome that you see on the right, a perfect three-dimensional restoration of the bone defect. Well, now we'll focus on extensive defects, I mean vertical ridge augmentation in a totally identical maxilla. Look at the teeth in the vertebral maxilla. We chose a customized mesh to restore the um, adequate bone volume for the implant placement. You can observe the virtual planning on a smartphone before the surgery. It's very interesting technology to reduce mistake and complication. The surgery is always the same after filling the mesh with 50% of autogenous bone and 50% of xenopa. The device was fixed with four screws and it was covered with a collagen membrane and PRF membranes. 
Finally, after buckle flap mobilization, great care was given to the primary closure of the area. On the right, you can see the soft tissue healing of the maxilla, and here, look at the complete restoration of the anterior maxilla after nine months of healing. Very interesting results. Well, now let's go with the last case, uh, a case of an extremely resorbed patient, a totally dentrous mandible with six millimeter of bone in and a complete exposure of the alveolar nerve as you can see in the CBCP scans. Like in the previous case, after buccal and lingual flap design and elevation, the mesh was filled with 50% of autogenous bone and 50% oxenograph, and it was fixed with six titanium screws. After that, two collagen membrane was fixed above the mesh to optimize the bone regeneration of the area, while the PRF membranes was used to optimize the soft tissue healing, as you can see in the last pictures. And what about the results of this challenging bone augmentation? No exposure or other complication happened during the 12 months of healing. Look at the mesh at the re-entry surgery after 12 months. The device was partially integrated in the newly formed bone and it was broken and removed in many pieces. The mandible was entirely restored with a vertical bone gain of 5 to 6 mm. All the bone under the mesh was perfectly mineralized, such as on the left side, bone density class 1. So, a great result. All group of GBL Academy is working about uh, this surgical approach uh, because uh, we think it will be the future. But remember that the best is yet to come. Well, I hope uh, you enjoy my brief lecture. Now we are carrying out a randomized clinical trial about uh, this kind of technology for the vertical reach augmentation. So stay tuned. We'll share our opinions and outcomes with you. Thank you for your time and for your attention.